today we're going to be talking about correct pronoun choices. Um, sometimes on the ACT, you will have to pick out sentences that are incorrect because the pronoun does not match up with the noun. So we need to know what a noun and a pronoun is, obviously. Uh, here we have an example of a noun. A noun can be a person, a place, or a thing. thing right? In this case, we have a marker. And our pronoun is something that takes the place of a noun. So here, I have a lovely drawing of a marker. It could take the place of that noun. So we have a noun and a pronoun. Um, let's get right to it. Can someone please read our first right example? The members of the board of directors move their meeting from Friday mornings to Wednesday afternoons. OK, so we need to make sure that our noun and our pronoun both match. Um, so let's talk about what that means. This could mean that they're both singular, they're both plural. Um, they both refer to people. Um, in this case, it says it's right because the word members is our subject, and it's obviously plural with the S at the end. Um, they helped you out. What's our pronoun in this one? It's in bold, second mm, word. There. Right, so there is also plural. We have a plural noun and a plural pronoun. So if we had three real markers and three drawn markers, those would match, so that would be good. Okay, let's go ahead and practice on some of the wrong ones, figure out what's wrong. Um, our first wrong example says, the university made it their priority to increase graduation rates. Um, and our subject would be? The university. Right, university, and we have our pronoun is there. Um, the university is obviously singular, and the word there we talked about is a singular or plural? Plural. Plural pronoun. So they don't match, right? These two don't go together. It's like having two real markers, or sorry, my fault one real marker and two fake markers up here. They don't go together. Let's go ahead and go down to our next wrong example. Shayla knew at least three people which moved to San Francisco. Um, this time we're not worried about the plural. What we're worried about is whether we're referring to um, the right type of noun. Here we have people, obviously talking about people, but our pronoun is the word next to it. Which. Which, thank you. Um, and this word does not refer to people. We need a different three-letter pronoun. Starts with W. Who. Who. Wow, you're quick. Shayla knew at least three people who moved to San Francisco would be a correct sentence. Nice job. Let's move on to our exercises. Um, you want to read the first one? I've read the last couple. One has to work hard to build up your muscles. Thanks. Okay. So let's find our subject and our pronoun. Even though they aren't bold this time, they shouldn't be too hard. Subject is the word one, and which would be our pronoun? Oh, your. Yep, your, thanks. Um, so, why would these not go together? What's wrong here? There's something about being, it's kind of about being general in this case. Um, the word your can really only be paired with one noun, and that's the word you. So if we use you as a noun, can you make that substitution and say, you know, you have to work hard to build up your muscle. Right, yep, you have to change the verb too. Nice job, nice catch. Um, so that's one way to fix it. The other way is to make our pronoun more general, and we could say one has to work hard to build up one's muscles. That'd be another way. All right, right, let's. We gotta make sure we get through our last example here because they can be a little tricky on the ACT. Um, here's our example. The newspaper article reported that nonviolent crime has continually decreased during the last decade. They said that one explanation for this could be the strength of the economy. Okay, so what is what are these statements of? What's the subject of these statements? The the article. Right, the newspaper article or the article, and this is singular or plural. Singular. Right, that's always a good place to start. Is a singular or plural? Um, and when we look at that first sentence, there's. There's nothing wrong with it, right? The newspaper article reported that nonviolent crime has continually decreased throughout the last decade. Completely fine. But when we go to our second sentence, they said that one explanation for this could be the strength of the economy. Again, the sentence is fine by itself, but it's referring back to our original sentence. So this one, the second sentence starts with a pronoun. What is that pronoun? They. Right. And they, is it singular or plural? Plural. So we found a problem, right? In our second sentence, the pronoun refers back to the original sentence, and it is plural rather than singular. So there is our problem. So be aware of multiple sentences. Um, always go back and check. Nice job. Thank you.